Monsanto has clearly come to dominate the American food chain with its genetically modified seeds. It's a master at enforcing its 674 biotechnology patents, using tyrannical and ruthless tactics against small farmers. They have also moved into the production of milk with its artificial growth hormones, seeking to dominate the dairy industry as effectively as it has the seed business. Has this new corporate image made us forget about the old Monsanto's decades-long history of scorched earth and toxic contamination? Monsanto was born on November 29, 1901. In 1902, Monsanto's first product was none other than saccharin. Between the years of 1903 and 1905 their entire saccharin production was shipped to a growing soft drink company based in Georgia called Coca-Cola. By 1915, Monsanto sales hit the 1 million mark. Approximately two years later Monsanto began producing aspirin. Monsanto was the top aspirin producer in the U.S. until the 1980s. In 1985, G.D. Zerland Company bought Monsanto. At this point Monsanto became even more involved in pharmaceuticals and the sweetener industry. In addition, Nutrasweet was acquired by Monsanto. World War II was the catalyst to a new partnership between Monsanto and the U.S. government. Monsanto became involved in research for the Manhattan Project which led to the world's first nuclear bombs. Until the late 1980s, Monsanto also operated a mound laboratory, a nuclear facility, on behalf of the federal government. By 1955, Monsanto had branched out in the petroleum business. They acquired oil oil essentially to provide themselves with petrochemical materials. With the acquisition of light oil, Monsanto was also introduced into the fertilizer business. In the 1960s and 1970s, Monsanto was the leading producer of Agent Orange for the U.S. military in Vietnam. Between the years of 1962 and 1970, the U.S. military sprayed 72 million liters of Agent Orange on over 1 million Vietnam civilians and over 100,000 U.S. troops. Within 10 years of the end of the war, 9,170 veterans had filed claims for disabilities believed to be caused by Agent Orange. In 1977, Monsanto entered a joint petrochemical venture with Conoco Oil Company. They were bought out at a later time and they utilized the profit to acquire a pharmaceutical company. By this time, G.D. Zernanko was successful in getting the U.S. FDA to approve aspartame for a second time. By the late 1990s, Monsanto turned its focus to agriculture and started buying seed companies and genetic laboratories. In December 1999, Monsanto and Pharmacia Dumdum announced an impending merger. Upon the completed merger in March 2000, the new company Pharmacia Corporation was created. The agricultural portion of the corporation has retained the Monsanto name. Monsanto's genetic modification program has reached 95% of domestic soybean crops and 80% of domestic corn crops. Many seed growers and crop farmers feel cornered by Monsanto as it solidifies its control over the entire seed and crop industry. Most have no other option but to continue using their products or else face ruin.